Welcome to the top five sports callers of the week. Number five. Terry from Detroit joined Valenti and Foster on 97.1 The Ticket to give his thoughts on Roger Goodell's standing after deflate game. I know that Goodell was wrong. And we all know that. We can all see this coming basically from a mile away that it was going to be overturned. Not only did they have um, no evidence, they picked basically their own judge and yes. and it, it went to the place they didn't want to go to Minnesota. So it, it, it's a debacle all around. Okay. But here's the deal. The owners really were behind Goodell. They kind of pushed him into this, boxed him in the corner like, hey, we've seen you hugging um, Robert Kraft. We've seen you uh, shaking his hand, um, being over to his house and uh, and but Terry, wait a minute. Terry, things, this has been like Goodell's that. MO. Come on, since... Mike, I've been waiting for an hour now. Come right, on, Terry, 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 this has been Goodell's calling card since he took over with Bounty Gate. Number four. Henry from Atlanta hopped on with Dukes and Bell on 92.9, the game in Atlanta, because he disagrees with the host's assessment of the Falcons' passing game. I, I just got to disagree with you on this because uh, of it being a pipe dream Monday night. Because let's face it, pass blocking, I don't care where you came from or whose team you just got released from, it's the guy in front of you. You don't get beat by the guy in front of you. So I'm not crazy worried about that. The run part and the and, and all that good stuff, hopefully that will all gel in the next few weeks. But I don't think it's a big reach for them to win Monday night. And, well, uh, I, I don't know about I don't guys. I don't know about not winning. I'm not going to give our team a chance not to win. I'm just telling you I'm concerned. And Henry, let me ask you this before we let you go: How many I'm times do we throw the ball on Monday night? Are you telling me Matt Ryan throws the ball 50 times Monday night? Does he? No, because I, I think they're going to really try to establish the run. So I would say he's throwing at 35 to 40. But 50, if he's throwing 50 times, we lose. There you go. That's what I was waiting on. Number three. John from Philly called in to Mike and Ike on 94 WIP in Philadelphia to discuss Chip Kelly's move to bring in Stephen Morris as the third quarterback. He's not impressed. The little petty tyrant Napoleon just stood up. He kind of reminds me of Belichick because I loved him and now I can't stand him. But he stood up there with a straight face and said that this guy Morris is the best this Eagles team can do. I'd have taken Barkley and I'd have taken Tebow over this guy. He has no experience, and nobody with any sense can tell me this Eagles team, <laughs> with a quarterback you bring in who is the number one injury risk in the whole league, and you're going to tell me he doesn't need a safety net. You're going to bring in some guy Morris, never thrown a pass, never nothing, and he's better. Yeah. I'm done with Napoleon, and the sooner all them people in the press corps get over being enamored with his intelligence, he's not. Mm-hmm. He is not, and it's it's obvious. I, they're well, not better well, now, with uh, John, hey, we see John, John, thanks for the call. On. Number two. Teddy from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, joined Boomer and Carton on WFAN in New York to tell Boomer the Mets should trade Matt Harvey. Number one, Boomer, because I know you're a died in the wool Mets fan. Oh, yeah. You you got to trade Harvey this offseason. Yeah. Uh, will you stop? Teddy, what are you smoking this morning? Come on now. Let's go. Let's not worry about this offseason. Let's worry about today's game against the Nationals, please. No, 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 let me just tell you one thing. I don't know if you were here yet. I had season tickets when you were the quarterback. Great. Yeah. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, you should have got rid of those. Let, 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 me, let me tell you one thing. Yeah. When Gooden came up, Gooden had a Cy Young, a 300 strikeout season, yeah. rookie of the year, right. and a championship before he was as old as Harvey. And he also Harvey had a, he had a terrible dominated. cocaine problem, too. Let's not forget that. Uh, the only reason Dwight Gooden didn't stay a Met longer is because of a drug problem. Yeah, well, you know, and Harvey Matt, also why, had... You know, this thing, stop, stop, stop. Harvey had, stop. Uh, Harvey had Tom, the notion, Tommy John surgery. The notion that now you want to trade Matt Harvey because he had a slip of the tongue is so stupid. Number one. The top spot goes to Michelle from Boston, who called in to Felger and Maz on 98.5, the sports hub in Boston, because she's fed up with the deflate gate and spy gate talk. Oh my God, you people, are, are you serious? You're acting like what you're reading is a Bible. Are you kidding me? Like no other teams in the NFL ever did any of that stuff. Come on. 
Everybody wants an edge in the NFL. You sound like Goodell now. Are you kidding me? I uh, mean, really? Well, I don't He's disagree with your strings. Well, whoever said. I mean, that's what Goodell is. He's just a puppet on a string, and they keep pulling each team is pulling them one way, the other way, the other way. I mean, come on, cut the crap out. I want to hear about what's going to go on in the games, not about. This one putting Gatorade, warm, giving them warm Gatorade. I mean, they should have put something else in there. <laughs> Who, there. I mean, spying on them, listen, putting things so they can hear. The, the, are, are you kidding me? They all do it. And, they, and I don't care who calls and says that they don't because their teams are perfect. Yeah. Well, they're crap. That's why they hate the Patriots because we're winners. That's that's all it is. And you sit there, you and Mav, and go for every word, and this is what they said. And they said that the Patriots said, who? Who said? ESPN? NFL? Well, you start up. Uh, are you kidding me? You start up by saying that the Patriots aren't the only ones who do it, so you thought they did it. Whether they did or they didn't, they all do it. It's just they go after the Patriots all the time. Why? Because we win. We're not some screwed, stupid... Please. Okay, Michelle, very good. You got through it without swearing. I'm good. You know, I would never call them a screw stupid. <laughs> yeah, I love her. Tune in every week to hear the wildest callers and the wittiest banter as CBS Local Sports brings you the top five sports callers of the week.